Freedom of Information Act um, are available anyhow. But I, mean, I, I think maybe the member hasn't been listening to what I've been saying. I mean, first of all, there's no inconsistency in the, some of the, the, the work which is carried on, out under carbon reduction. And my view, and I, my common sense view, as I see it, Mr. Chairman, that people should not use the Earth's resources and use energy unnecessarily. I mean, there are very good practical reasons for that. In a time of recession, and a time when people find it difficult to um, meet ends meet, of course, if we can encourage them and show them how they might save on the uh, money which they spend in energy, then we should do that when it comes to the competitiveness of industry. It's the same. I mean, in a very competitive world, well, why wouldn't we encourage industry and, indeed, departments of government give grants uh, towards this to help people to conserve energy? Now, if as a side effect of that there's a reduction in CO2 emissions, well, that may well please Mr Beggs, who seems to be obsessed with um, the, the, the influence of CO2 emissions. But um, as far as I'm concerned, the main um, benefit that I see of it is that we should have, um, uh, we should have uh, some way of ensuring that people don't reduce or don't waste energy. And maybe I could give Mr. Begg some personal advice, since I've done some research on the energy which he uses and the carbon which he produces. Last year, he claimed um, to, for uh, 14,547 miles. Uh, travel to and from uh, west, uh, to and from uh, the assembly here and round his constituency. That produced, according to the industry figures for the car which he drives, 4.4 uh, tons of carbon. Now, 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 had he had he taken the bus from Larne or the train from Larne, as I have no doubt he is encouraging others to do in this carbon-saving regime which he wishes to impose, he would have, instead of having 4.4 tonnes of carbon produced, he would have only produced 1.41 tonnes of carbon. So, Mr Chairman, I hope that you see that I am always happy to give advice to individuals when it comes to how they might reduce their energy consumption and, as a result, how they might reduce their carbon footprint. Just before and I do use the train when it coincides with where I'm travelling to. Hold it on this point. Yeah. On this point, uh, to, uh, could I ask uh, the minister? M maybe his research maybe didn't even go far enough. Uh, that's suggesting at 1.4 tonnes if he used his current car. If he'd have went for a hybrid car, would he not have used even less? He may well have done it. I only, I only calculated it on the, the, the car, which I know that the, the member drives. I, I would point out to him, and I, know, I just wish that the, the member who proposed. I would, I, would, I, would, I would also uh, point uh, out to him uh, that had it been um, a case of uh, the proposer of the motion of no confidence in me, who is very diligent in his duties, he has, uh, according to his claim, he has uh, uh, navigated the world on two occasions um, during the last year. Uh, his carbon footprint was about 20 tonnes, and um, if he had used the bus, and I believe there's a very good express from Enniskillen, he would have reduced that to 6.8 tonnes. Ton. So, you know, I, I, all I'm saying to you is I'm very happy, and I hope that I've, I've shown the, the, the member that I'm quite happy to give advice to people, either specifically as individuals or indeed to have advice given to the general public on how they might reduce their energy consumption, Mr. Chairman.